Shalom brothers and sisters who have arrived here on this channel. The information that I have to give you guys here is amazing. It's an amazing discovery that I haven't seen other channels anywhere do or say this as well. So what I'm going to tell you guys here is amazing. Stay up to the end of this video for you to understand what's going on here. Because on the Second World War, we had an identical scenario to what is happening right now on the verge of the Third World War, which is for us the moment called tribulation. It's something that is so identical that is unprecedented information about what's going to happen, what it's about to happen as well on this moment of time. I have to thank this channel here, our brother here, End Time Dreams and Vision. Already 30,000 people watched his video and I'm gonna uh, do even more and show even more to what he already showed in this video. So the beginning of my research began because of his video and I'm gonna uh, thank him for this but now I'm gonna show you guys even more. Just like he began showing the tip of the iceberg and I now I'm gonna show all of the iceberg un under the water here for you guys to understand how big this is. Also this information will require you to have watched my previous video, the hidden tetrad, uh, the 2230, the video that I showed you guys, the hidden blood moon tetrad happening right now on this Shemitah cycle. That is so important for us to see how amazing this is that it's happening right now. So let's go here to the video real quick and I'm going to show you this slide here. So on the second world war we had several things that that are very similar to what will happen on the tribulation that I call World War III. For example, the Second World War lasted for seven years, seven whole years, counting 1939 all the way until 1945. And we know that the tribulation will last for seven years, so first similarity here. On the Second World War, we had a dictator who wanted to who rule the whole world. So the dictator wanted to rule the whole world and he couldn't, but it's just like what will happen on the tribulation because the Antichrist will govern the whole world. He will have authority and power to rule the world. So another similarity here. On the Second World War, there was a persecution happening, a religious persecution mostly of the Jews, however, I know that some people say the church was also persecuted by Germany on the Second World War. And we know this is like a shadow, a foreshadow for the tribulation where there will be a persecution of the left behind saints here and also the Jews because they are the main attraction here for the Antichrist to govern uh, them. Also on the Second World War there was a mark if you remember, the Jews in the uh, concentration camps, they were marked uh, on a, uh, with a barcode. So they were marked, the people that were in the concentration camps, they were marked with a barcode there. And that's a representation of, of what the mark of the beast will, uh, will be in the tribulation in the World War III. So there will be a mark, the mark of the beast, which is uh, more than just a barcode. I believe it will be like a QR code, something on the, ver uh, on the, just like that, because you can see now on the news they are already talking about microchip implants. They are talking about uh, electronic ta uh, tattoos. So they are preparing the world to accept the mark that will come after the rapture. And also, Israel was in the center there in the World War because the Jews were persecuted, and because of the Second World War the Jews received Israel uh, and they became a nation after, after the Second World War and we know that the tribulation, the World War III, Israel will be in the center as well because the Antichrist will eventually persecute the Jews as well so they are going through Jacob's trouble. So there are by itself a lot of similarities between the Second World War and the Third World War which is the tribulation. So, by it, this itself, you can see that there are very uh, 
very similarities between the Second and the Third World War, but now we'll go one step further. If we go to 1937 and 1938, there are a lot of similarities to now, the 2021 and 2022, because both years they were Shemitah's cycles. So let's put here 1937, 1938, and 1939, and 2021, 22, and 23. And we can see that the Shemitah cycles were in 1937 all the way until the September 1938 and for now for us now it's 2021 all the way until 2022 here the end of Shemitah cycle for the Jews happening here in the late September 26 and 27 of September so by itself you can see that this is, has a lot of similarities if we get a calculator here you can realize that 2022 is a Shemitah cycle, uh, subtract 7, we get 2015, 14, 15, also a Shemitah cycle, then 20, 2007, 2008, also Shemitah cycle, and we can go 2001, all the way until 1945, which is the end of the Second World War, a Shemitah cycle, and 1938, which is the one we are seeing here right now. So, this both of these dates here, both of these periods of time, they were very similar. They are very similar. And we're going to check here what happened right before the World War, the Second World War started. So let's go here to Wikipedia. So we can see what happened here in 1938. So we can see here Second World War. In Europe, Germany and Italy were becoming more aggressive. In March 1938, Germany annexed Austria, again provoking little response from other European powers. So, on March 1938, Germany annexed Austria in their countries. They became more aggressive. So, take a look at this. In 1938, in the middle of the Shemitah cycle, the aggression begins in March when Germany uh, invaded and annexed Austria to their territory. So this is very important for you to see how strong this is. But right after this aggression started here, we see this. There was a red blood moon on 14 and 15 of May 1938. And this information we see here from this brother who showed us that it happened a blood moon when it was the 14 and 15 of May 1938 and if we go to Stellarian we can see this blood moon so for those that are already very smart and understand what we have been telling for the past videos we can see here on 1938, the 1st of May, the sun is in Aries and there's a new moon. Now if we go to the 14th of May, we go and we see the moon here in Libra. And now we go back here a couple hours. And you, we can see here clearly that there was a red blood moon on 14th of May 1938. This is something amazing by itself because the 14th of May uh, is a very special date for Israel. So 10 years after 1938, they declared independence on the 14th of May 1948. So 10 years after they declared independence, 10, 10, years, 10 years previous, a blood moon, a red blood moon happened here in the Shemitah cycle right before the Second World War. Now what happened right after that? So we go here, we can see here that after this beginning of aggression here by Germany, in the 29th of September 1938, they signed a Munich agreement, so a pact here, they signed a pact with Germany, United Kingdom, France and Italy. They signed this pact, this agreement, so Germany would stop annexing territories to their territory. So 
This was a, an agreement that they signed here on September 1938. So we can see here this Munich agreement was, was signed on, nine, on the 29th of September 1938. And as you can see, it's right after the Shemitah has uh, finished. So right after the, Sh the Shemitah cycle, on the next year, the following year after the Shemitah, they signed an agreement. And you can see here on the calendar, September 1938, that Hosh Hashanah, for them, the first of Tishri, the, the Feast of Trumpets, uh, happened on the 26th and 27th of September that year, and right on the 29th year, 29th day of September, they signed this agreement. So right after Hosh Hashanah, they signed this agreement. And we know that this agreement didn't last long because it was broken. It was broken in the middle because we know the Second World War started on September the 1st, 1939. And this information is also here on Wikipedia. Let me just leave it here and we can see here. In generally, it is considered that in Europe, World War II started on 1st of September, 1939, with the German invasion of Poland. So, German Germany, they broke the agreement, Munich agreement, and they invaded other countries. That's what made United Kingdom and France declare war to them, and it began Second World War. So, as you can see here, oh, also. I forgot to mention that September, to, in September 1939, Rosh Hashanah uh, happened in the 14th and 15th of September 1939. So on the 1st of September that happened the war, the war, Second World War, was still the following year after the Shemitah. So as you can see here, the following year after the Shemitah is where they signed the pact, they broke the pact, and the world, the Second World War started. So by itself you can see this is very important for us and it is very similar to the year that we are right now. So let me just check if the sound is, is great here. It's working. Okay, so 2021-2022 it's also a Shemitah cycle, and right here in the middle of the Shemitah cycle, what happened? What happened here in the beginning of the year 2022? We see that the aggression by Russia also begins in February. So Russia started to invade Ukraine and, and annex, get some territories for themselves as well. Right in the middle of the Shemitah cycle, the Russia aggression begins or began on February 2022. Not only that, but right after, right after February, we also had a blood moon happening on the 15th and 16th of May this year, which for us, we know it is Passover. Very important blood moon that happened here, but we know now that it wasn't just a single blood moon happening here, it was one moon in a tetrad, in a four blood moons happening in Passover, Sukkot, Tabernacles, and Passover's Tabernacles here. That is happening 2021 and 2022. So as you can see here, it's very similar the moment in 1937, 1938 to now 2021, 2022. So what can we expect to happen right after this Shemitah cycle? Most likely what? The Antichrist will make a covenant, a pact, and they will eventually break this covenant and start the Third World War in 2023, just like it happened back then in 1937 and 1938. It is very likely. But what I have to show you guys go even further than this, because take a look. If we go back here to the Stellarium, as I have shown you guys, so in 1938... Right here, the sun is in Aries, the first constellation, and the moon just became visible in the sky. As I have shown you guys, which month is beginning? The month of Pisces, the month of Aries, or the month of Taurus, the bull? I think you can clearly see that the month that is beginning here 
according to what the sun is pointing, is the month of Aries. So this is the first month, the month of Nisan. And we know that on the full moon on the month of Nisan is always Passover. So on the full moon, it's exactly 14 of May 1938. That's when the moon became blood red here in Libra. We can know that this is Passover because what's being judged here, uh, according to the constellation of Libra, the balance, it is the blood of what? The blood of the Lamb. Just like it happened 2,000 years ago, our Messiah, the Lamb, died here in Passover. That's what it's showing us. The moon on Libra and the sun in Aries points that the Lamb died here and His blood was here in the balance, in the sacrifice place for us to be covered. So, clearly we can see that on, on 14 of May 1938, it wasn't just a blood moon, it was a blood, blood moon on Passover. And this is something huge. But I didn't stop there. I went to, to see when was the next blood moon. And let's go here with me. And we're going to go together here on Stellarium. So, 14 of May is the first month. So, let's go to the second month, third month, fourth month, fifth month, sixth month, and seventh month. So, right now we are on the seventh month in 1938. We can see that it's the seventh month because the sun is in Libra. The sun is in the balance. It is the seventh month according to what I have shown you guys in the calendars. Now, let's go back to the moment when the moon was full. Now we go here, return a couple days, and we can see here on 7th, the 7th of November, 1938, the moon was full. Now let's go to the moon and check what happened to the moon when the moon was, uh, we're here in Aries. So let's go and check here. And as you can see, November the 7th, 1938, the moon became blood red. When? On the full moon of the 7th month, which is for us, Tabernacles, Sukkot. So, blood moon on Passover, the 14th of May, 1938, right in the middle of Shemitah. And then, blood moon on Tabernacles, right after the end of the Shemitah cycle here on 7-11. We can see here that it's very, very similar to the blood moons happening today because there was a blood moon on Passover, the 15th and 16th of May 2022, and then there will, have, there will be a blood moon on Tabernacles, the 8th of November, happening 2022, and here was 14, 15 of May, and 7 11 here, 7th of November on Tabernacle. So I went to see if there were more blood wounds before here on 1937 and I couldn't find it. However, however, let's go back here to the Stellarium. And now this is the 7th month. Let's go to the 8th month, 9th month, 10th month, 11th month, 12th month. Now we go back to the 1st month again. 1939 Net, let's go back here to the full moon on 1939 the first month you can see here that the moon is already in the in libra again so marking for us the first month because the sun is in aries and the moon is here is in libra now let's go back here a couple hours and there you go the moon became blood red again, May the 3rd, 1939, which is for us, full moon on the first month, Passover again. So, we can see a pattern happening here, and if you go back to Stellarium and go to the 7th month again, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, let's go back to the full moon, and now let's go back a couple hours, and as you can see here, the 28th of October 1939, also a red blood moon happening here on Sukkot Tabernacle. So, as you can see here, 
This is something huge. This is something out of this world in similarities because a Blood Moon Tetrad also happened on 1938 and 1939. The beginning of the Second World War happened right in the middle here of the Blood Moon Tetrad right there before the Second World War. This is something completely out of my mind because already by itself a Blood Moon Tetrad doesn't happen quite often. It's very unlikely. You guys believe that Pastor Mark Bilt found the 2014 and 15 Blood Moon Tetrad? That we know now it wasn't perfectly a Tetrad because it didn't fall perfectly to the dates that we know now. However, we found that 2021-2022 Blood Moon Tetrad and now we can see that a Tetrad happened also in 1938 and 1939 right there in the beginning of the Second World War. This is amazing. This is something that it's so out of this world. It's so much coincidence that I that makes me think that this Shemitah cycle cannot pass with the church in here because clearly we can see this pattern here repeating itself with Israel in the center because the Second World War was uh, was a thing that made Israel come into the world as a nation and we can see now that this Shemitah cycle where they are expecting their Messiah is the moment where perfectly fits the Antichrist to come make a pact and start a third world war and we know all of the things that will happen in tribulation this is just something out of this world in coincidence let's say this because it's too much information it's too much similarities for it for not to be something major happening right now after this Shemitah cycle it's something out of this world guys out of this world so we can see that the Shemitah ended with an agreement that was broken right the year after the Shemitah so we can expect that this Shemitah will end there will be an agreement a pact a covenant and that covenant will be broken by the Antichrist after the Shemitah cycle as well and the blood moon tetrad happening there back then and right now it's something amazing it's something that we cannot forge we cannot fake it we can only discover this because we now know how the calendars perfectly work according to what I have shown you guys in the sky clock so let me just put it quickly here the sky clock that I have been showing you guys shows us that the constellations the Sun is pointing the constellations and the constellation is the number of the month and the moon begins the month with the new moon uh, as we can see and I have shown you guys in the previous video also that the sky clock itself shifts 30 degrees every about 2,000 years that's why we are 30 degrees or one month uh, different than what the Jews are thinking right now because most watchmen and the Jews they are believing we are in the sixth month the month of Elu however because of this shift here we are we are actually in the fifth month the month of Leon the lion so as I have shown you guys here the sky clock points to us that the middle point here what used to be the fourth month 2000 years ago is now for us because the, the sky shifted the middle point of the fifth month when the Sun is pointing Leo the lion and we have been expecting the rapture to happen anytime in this month but the perfect moment for it to happen is right there in the middle between the fifth and the sixth month when the moon will be full so all of this is a watch time for us however when the moon is full that's the most likely moment for us to expect and the middle of the fifth month is to be of the moment when they use historically is snatched brides for themselves after the curse of the desert ended so the moment when they snatched brides historically to be of the middle of the month of Av, the middle of the month of lion that's when it's the moment most likely for us to happen the rapture of the church because it will be a full moon and it will be perfectly aligned to what we have been seeing here in this sky clock also it will be the right the end of the summer that will end on the 21st of September 
So it will get the summer harvest still. It's the end of the summer. And this, this, it is the moment before the Shemitah cycle changes for the Jews that they believe it, it will be right there on September 26 and 27. So take a look. September 20, 2022, for them, the Shemitah cycle will end on Hosh Hashanah, Feast of Trumpets, 26 and 27 of September. Another very big similarity to 1938, which also... The Shemitah cycle were, uh, happened on 26 and 27 of September as well. So, 1938, 2022. 1938, 2022. Basically, it is the same. The same dates, the same moment, the same period of time that we are waiting right after summer ends. And we can expect, he, expect here for the moment... We can live here between the 10th and 11th here of September, which is the 14th and the 15th of, of the month of Av, the fifth month, when the moon will be full and the sun is still in the constellation of the lion. He came as a lamb, he will return as a lion for us, to gather us out of this world by the end of the summer and before here the Shemitah cycle changes, which perfectly aligns to what happened all the way back there before the Second World War in 1938. So this is a perfect match. I can't see how this can go any further. I cannot see this happening again seven years from now or 70 years from now because the alignment is perfect in all scenarios that have, we have been studying and seeing with all the brothers around the world. Dr. Barry, Pastor Sandy, uh, this guy here, uh, Bob Barber also. So we all can see clearly that this is the moment, it's a perfect moment for the tribulation to start right after here the Shemitah cycle changes. And the rapture has got to be before it, before this moment, before summer ends. And the perfect moment for us would, would be full moon, as I have shown you guys here in the sky clock. Full moon, the fifth month, month of Av, is the perfect moment. It's the, the, the moment where we can most likely expect the rapture to happen. And... To complete this even further, I discovered here that the full moon of September is called the harvest moon. And as you can see here in the almanac, it is the harvest moon and they put a wheat harvest full moon here in September. So it matches everything that we have been seeing, everything that we have been studying, everything that is up to now the most perfect scenario ever to for the rapture to happen and for the tribulation to start. I cannot see how this go past this uh, summer. I cannot see how this go past even more years from now. I cannot see this happening after uh, the Shemitah cycle changes for us. This is the perfect moment for the rapture to happen. And right after that, it perfectly match, matches what happened in the Second World War to a point that even Two Blood Moon Tetrads, something super rare, happened there and now as well. And we can only see that because we understand how the calendars work perfectly according to what we see in the skies. And we understand also that the sky by itself changes 30 degrees that makes all the different sense, all the sense for us that nobody else in the world could have seen. So this is something amazing, guys. Amazing full moon, harvest moon. In September for the wheat harvest in the end of the summer right there when the Sun is the in the month in the pointing the constellation of the lion right before the Shemitah cycle changes right before the fall begins and literally the fall of the Jews in the world will happen right before there the third world war starts just like it happened in 1938 and 1939 it all matches perfectly to this moment of time and we here in this channel and you guys here watching as well can clearly see this and I don't see how it go past this moment because it's too much, too much evidences for it not to be anything. It is so much evidence that I believe it's more unlikely to not happen, to nothing happen because of all of this scenario here. It is more unlikely that something will not happen than it is. Then 
that it happens because it is too much evidence for it for something to happen and we can clearly see that what is going to happen is clearly the tribulation and our rapture out of this world before the tribulation clearly it is pointing this moment to arrive so this is huge and I went to check here the moment when when the Antichrist can come here to make this covenant to make this pact and we all know here basically that on September 13 to September 27 so right after the full moon here there will be the General Assembly of UN the 77 session so 77 is already something big happening here and it will end by the time the Shemitah cycle changes for the Jews on the 26th and 27th of September so on this General Assembly most likely the Antichrist will give a speech here I believe because on last year they showed on on the UN YouTube channel they showed the beast the, the dinosaur giving a speech in the UN about climate change so most likely the Antichrist will most likely be here in this session and give a speech because he is the beast that came out of the earth however I wanted to see what will happen closer here to the last blood moon tetrad here on 8 11 the 8th day of November also tabernacles for us and I found it I found something amazing that I totally believe the Antichrist will be here because it's something out of this world as well because here from the 7th to the 18th of November 2022 so it will get the blood moon there there will be COP27 the UN climate change conference in 2022 so clearly you can expect for sure that the Antichrist will be here in the UN giving a speech about climate change in 2022 right when the blood moon of the last blood moon of the tetrad happens and you can see here that the symbol uh, looks a lot like the symbol in the Catholic Church the Mitra the Antichrist symbol here the Sun symbol here so it's very likely that the Antichrist will be here and will give a speech for the nations in this conference here COP 27 it will also happen in Egypt south of Sinai I believe Mount, Mount Sinai maybe Egypt very interesting here and the 27 I believe there will also have something to do with 27 here so most likely the Antichrist will come here to give this speech about climate change because the UN already said that the world population here is about to reach 8 billion people in the 15th of November 2022 so it all fits perfectly the dates for the the feasts the dates for the events in the world the dates for the Antichrist to appear the moons the harvest moon also the similarities in 1938 and now also the blood moon tetrad the world the second world war and the third world war that the Pope already said that we are living amidst it so everything shows us that we are in the precise moment to expect the, the harvest of the church the harvest of the wheat and right after it the beginning of the sudden destruction which he will come which the Antichrist will come make a pact make a covenant that he will break after uh, three and a half years so everything matches perfectly I cannot see how this go past I cannot see this alignment perfectly matches matches any other moment in time in the next I don't know hundreds of years and this is something unique special and out of this world only we could understand this because we understand the calendars now so it is too much evidence for this to go without the harvest happening here it's too much evidence even the news here they are saying about microchip implants they're talking about Russia going closer to Iran we saw on 30 of August Taiwan uh, attacks China drone for the first time Pope saying that the third world war we are living amidst it China in first of September trapping and locking 21 million people in a city and simulating the attack of uh, 
in United States in uh, in warship in the United States. Russia, China, India coming closer also yesterday. So a lot of things happening right now that shows us that the third world war is about to begin. The Antichrist is about to appear. The harvest also of the church, the rapture, about to deliver us from this world that is about to explode anytime now. So this is a lot of information that I believe you guys haven't seen anywhere. We know that Bob Barber there, he told us about this uh, blood moon here happening on 14th of May. However, he didn't know that it was Passover and he didn't know that it was the first moon of a blood moon tetrad happening Passover, Tabernacles, Passover, Tabernacles in 1938 and 1939. This is an amazing information that I believe shows us for sure that we are in the correct moment of time, that the rapture will happen most likely in this September before the Shemitah cycle changes. I can't see how this go past and we are about to see and to witness the harvest moon, the blood, uh, the full moon in September, the harvest moon, which is the harvest of the wheat in the end of the summer. I believe we are there. I believe we cannot go past this any longer. I believe there can't be any more confirmations than this. It is already too much evidence for it not to happen. And I believe you that are watching here are ready and very excited to be raptured out of this earth very, very soon because we are very clearly seeing that we are about to live for sure. This is something that no other time, no other time we have been seeing an alignment like this happening right now. So brothers and sisters, get ready. Be closer and closer to Jesus. Be closer and be filled with the Holy Spirit. Be ready to live this wor world. Don't let anything or anyone in this earth uh, trap you here or lock you down here because right uh, very, very soon it won't matter much because we are about to leave this earth for sure. I hope this video has blessed you plenty. I hope this video have given you a lot of excitement about the rapture to about to happen and I hope you share this information with all of the brothers and sisters around the world who wanted who will want to see this information this identical scenario happening for us right now it is another proof that God is with us another proof that God is showing us for sure that this is the moment of time and we cannot go past this because it won't happen again for a long long I don't know how many years, but a long, long time. So, Maranatha, brothers and sisters, I hope to see all of you in the air very soon in the marriage covenant of the Lamb. Maranatha, brothers. Maranatha. I hope to see all of you.